Hey everyone, welcome to Smart and Healthy Kids. And today, we're going to dive into something super cool, our amazing body systems. Have you ever wondered how your body works? Well, you're in the right place. Before we start, stop what you are doing and push the subscribe button. Now back to our video. Our bodies are like super powerful machines with different parts working together. Today, we're going to learn about 11 important systems that keep us alive and kicking. From your brain to your toes, each system has a special job. We'll explore how they work and I've got some fun activities for you to try along the way. Are you ready? Let's take a journey inside our bodies. So grab a comfy seat, maybe a snack, and let's get started with our first system, the nervous system. Remember, you're amazing and so is your body. Let's go. The nervous system is like the body's control center. It includes your brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Imagine your brain as the command center sending messages to every part of your body. Can you point to your brain? Great job! Your brain helps you think, learn, and even play your favorite games. The spinal cord is like a super highway carrying messages from your brain to the rest of your body. Every time you move, feel, or think, your nervous system is at work. It's also responsible for your senses, like seeing, hearing, and tasting yummy food. Isn't that amazing? Next time you play a game or solve a puzzle, remember to thank your nervous system. Now, let's move on to the next system, the respiratory system. Take a deep breath and let's go. The respiratory system helps you breathe. It's made up of your lungs, airways, and even your nose. Let's take a deep breath in and out. Can you feel your lungs working? Your lungs are like balloons that fill up with air when you breathe in and let it out when you breathe out. This system brings oxygen into your body and gets rid of carbon dioxide, a waste gas. Ever wonder why you breathe faster when you run? That's because your body needs more oxygen to keep up with all that energy you're using. So the next time you're playing tag or running around, remember how awesome your respiratory system is. Ready to learn about the circulatory system? Let's find out how our blood moves around. The circulatory system moves blood around your body. It's made up of your heart, blood, and blood vessels. Your heart is like a powerful pump that keeps the blood flowing. Can you find your heartbeat? Try it. Place your hand on your chest and feel the thump thump. That's your heart working hard to keep you alive. Blood carries oxygen and nutrients to every part of your body and takes away waste products. It's like a delivery service inside you. The next time you feel your heart beating fast, remember it's doing an incredible job. Now, let's move on to the digestive system and see how our bodies turn food into energy. Chapter 4, The Digestive System The digestive system helps you turn food into energy. It includes your mouth, stomach, and intestines. What did you eat for breakfast today? All that food goes on an amazing journey through your digestive system. It starts in your mouth, where you chew and mix it with saliva. Then it travels down to your stomach, where it's broken down even more. Your intestines do the rest of the work, absorbing all the nutrients your body needs. The leftover waste is then removed from your body. It's like a fantastic factory inside you. So next time you eat a yummy meal, remember how hard your digestive system is working. Ready to flex those muscles? Let's check out the muscular system. Chapter 5. The Muscular System The muscular system helps you move. It's made up of all the muscles in your body. Can you flex your muscles? Show me your strong arms. Your muscles work with your bones to help you walk, run, jump, and even smile. There are over 600 muscles in your body, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Some muscles work automatically, like your heart muscle, while others need you to tell them what to do, like the muscles in your arms and legs. So next time you lift something heavy or dance to your favorite song, remember to thank your muscles for making it all possible. Now, let's explore the skeletal system and see how it gives our bodies shape. Chapter 6. The Skeletal System The skeletal system gives your body shape and support. It's made up of all the bones in your body. How many bones do you think you have? Let's count together. You have 206 bones in your body. These bones protect your organs, help you move, and store important minerals. Your skull protects your brain, and your rib cage protects your heart and lungs. Bones are super strong but also lightweight, so you can move easily. They work with your muscles to help you do everything from jumping to dancing. Isn't that cool? Now let's move on to the endocrine system and learn about hormones. Can you say hormones? Great job! 
Chapter 7, The Endocrine System. The endocrine system controls your hormones. Hormones are like little messengers that tell your body what to do. This system includes glands like the thyroid, adrenal, and pituitary glands. Can you say hormones? Great job! These glands release hormones into your bloodstream, which travel to different parts of your body to help you grow, feel emotions, and even digest food. For example, your growth hormones help you get taller, and your adrenaline helps you feel excited or scared. Isn't that amazing? So next time you feel happy or excited, remember your endocrine system is at work. Ready to learn about the lymphatic system? Let's go! Chapter 8, The Lymphatic System The lymphatic system helps fight germs and keeps you healthy. It's made up of lymph nodes, lymph vessels, and lymph, which is a clear fluid. Can you say, lymph nodes? Awesome! Your lymph nodes are like little filters that catch germs and other harmful stuff. They swell up when you're sick because they're working hard to protect you. This system also helps remove waste and toxins from your body. So next time you feel a little bump on your neck when you're sick, remember it's your lymph nodes doing their job. Now let's learn about the urinary system and see how it helps get rid of waste. Ready? Let's go! Chapter 9 The Urinary System The urinary system helps get rid of waste from your body. It's made up of your kidneys, bladder, and urethra. Do you know where your kidneys are? Let's find them! Your kidneys are like little filters that clean your blood. They remove waste and extra water, which then becomes urine. This urine travels to your bladder, where it's stored until you go to the bathroom. So next time you drink water and later need to use the bathroom, remember your urinary system is working hard to keep you healthy. Isn't that cool? Now let's learn about the reproductive system and see how it helps create new life. Let's go! Chapter 10, The Reproductive System The reproductive system helps create new life. It's different for boys and girls and includes organs like the ovaries and testes. Can you say reproductive? Well done! This system produces special cells called eggs in girls and sperm in boys. When these cells come together, they can create a baby. Your reproductive system also produces hormones that help you grow and develop during puberty. Isn't that amazing? So next time you hear about babies or families, remember the incredible work of the reproductive system. Ready for the last system? Let's learn about the integumentary system and see how it protects your body. Chapter 11, The Integumentary System. The integumentary system includes your skin, hair, and nails. It's like a protective shield for your body. Can you touch your skin? It's amazing, right? Your skin is the largest organ in your body and helps protect you from germs, regulate your temperature, and even feel things. Your hair and nails also play important roles in protecting your body. For example, your hair helps keep you warm, and your nails protect the tips of your fingers and toes. So next time you look in the mirror, remember how incredible your integumentary system is. Thanks for joining me on this journey through our body systems. Let's wrap up. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you had fun learning about the 11 body systems with me. Our bodies are truly amazing, and now you know how each system works to keep you healthy and strong. Remember to take care of your body by eating healthy, staying active, and getting plenty of rest. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Smart and Healthy Kids. See you next time. Your support means the world to us and we have many more exciting videos coming your way. If you have any questions or topics you'd like to learn about, leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. And remember, you are amazing and so is your body. Keep exploring and stay curious. Until next time, stay smart and healthy kids. Bye for now.